from Syria to Iraq, from Lebanon and Jordan to the Gulf states, the Arab world is under attack. The enemy's name is Captagon, an amphetamine-based medicine that was developed in Germany in the 1960s to treat conditions including ADHD. In the 1980s, Captagon was banned globally because of its harmful side effects. Now, it is being counterfeited by criminal gangs, mainly in labs in Syria and Lebanon. Smuggled in vast quantities throughout the Middle East, the drug is harming families and communities across the region. Captagon's distinctive twin Half Moons logo has given the drug its Arabic street name, Abu Hulalain, Father of the Crescents. It's cheap and easy to make using easily acquired ingredients and requiring no specialist equipment. كنت بعيد عن الله اولا واخيرا كنت اعزم نفسي في غرفه كنت يعني نفسيتي سيئه جدا من ناحيه اسرتي كنت عامل اسرتي بعنف كنت عامل اسرتي بتبجح كنت يعني عامل اطفالي بالتعنيف تجاه اسرتي يعني جدا وتجاه المجتمع اللي حولي كنت ضار جدا به News now of Ramadan tragedy. Police in Saudi Arabia's eastern province say a man high on the drug set fire to a house of relatives in the city of Safwa. The husband and wife and their young son and daughter were locked in a room and burned to death. Despite the dangers, Captagon has become the drug of choice among a generation of young people across the region and is used by everyone from students to long-distance truck drivers. But few who use it seem to know or care how dangerous this drug can be. We see the evidence of Captagon shipments being routed and, and, and ending up in Saudi Arabia, along with a number of other Gulf countries as well, but overwhelmingly Saudi Arabia, which gives us a, a, a clue to this growing demand market. But unfortunately, because, and, and, and this is my own opinion, because Captagon, there's such a cultural taboo with drug consumption, let alone drug dependency. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of research. There's not a lot of public awareness. There's not a lot of public information uh, about Captagon consumption, let alone how Captagon is consumed, the culture around consumption, and some of the demographic motives where Captagon is, is ending up, what types of populations, what types of communities Captagon is being widely consumed. Most worrying of all, Captagon can cause users to develop an indifference to pain and fear and a dangerous sense of invincibility. Qualities that have led to the drug being adopted by the foot soldiers of Daesh and other terror groups. During the siege of Kobani in northern Syria in 2014, Daesh fighters took the pills before launching large-scale brutal attacks. And even prior to suicide attacks, they were high on Captagon. It gave them the courage they needed. After suicide mission, we would find small blood-spotted bags of Captagon pills by the body parts. Every year, millions of these dangerous little pills are being smuggled into countries across the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia. The prevalence, use and abuse of Captagon in Syria had been a thing since almost the start of the war in 2011, with every faction accused and proved to be taking it. 
When I went to Erbil in uh, Kurdistan to speak to a special force soldier who fought against ISIS as part of an investigation for Arab News, to have him offer a first-hand account was really rather chilling. ISIS relied on the pills for their suicide bombing missions, for the battles that they've waged, and for their horrific activities, such as the rape and torture and murder of the innocent civilians. Not only that, they used to force feed their victims captagon pills in order for them to be able to withstand long rape and torture sessions. The region is under siege. Millions of captagon pills have been seized by authorities in countries including Italy, Lebanon, Turkey, Iraq, the UAE and Jordan. But Saudi Arabia is the number one target for the smugglers. More than 600 million captagon pills have been seized at Saudi Arabia's borders and dry ports over the past six years, with 190 million intercepted in 2020 and 2021 alone. حقيقة شبكات الجريمة المنظمة استخدمت أساليب مختلفة ومتنوعة في استهداف المملكة بالمواد المخدرة ولكن ولله الحمد رجال مكافحة المخدرات وقطاعات وزارة الداخلية الأمنية كانوا متصدين لتلك المحاولات على أكمل وجه وتم إحباطها ولله الحمد في مختلف منافذ وموانئ المملكة اسمح لي اخوي سعود ان اتطرق الى نقطة التعاون في محاربة هذه الافة واحباط مثل محاولات هذه التهريب لدينا تنسيق عالي وكبير مع هيئة الزكاة والضريبة والجمارك وكذلك مع قطاعات وزارة الداخلية الامنية في احباط تلك الكميات كما لدينا والله الحمد تعاون مثمر وناجح وكبير مع الاجهزة النظيرة في الدول الشقيقة والصديقة في إحباط مخططات تلك الشبكات الإجرامية المنظمة التي تمتهن إنتاج وتهريب واستقبال وترويج المواد المخدرة وضبط جميع أطراف وعناصر تلك الشبكات سواء داخل المملكة أو خارجها ولله الحمد تم إحباط العديد من محاولات التهريب سواء داخل المملكة أو حتى خارجها بالتعاون مع شركائنا في الخارج هناك حالات مختلفة ويستخدمون دائما وسائل تهريب مختلفة ويعتقدون بأنها لن تكشف ولكن ولله الحمد نحن لهم بالمرصاد فعلى سبيل المثال استخدمت شحنات الخضار والفواكه بأشكالها المختلفة رمان، تفاح، برتقال، عنب كذلك شحنة بهارات وبقوليات شحنات مواد بناء، ألواح خشبية، ألواح حديد شحنة إطارات مختلفة the biggest haul to date, 46 million Captagon pills worth $1 billion seized in August 2022, was found in a shipment of flour in Riyadh dry port. Powerful, well-connected gangs are behind the trade in Captagon. Lebanon is struggling financially and lots of men are having to resort to drug dealing, unfortunately, as there's no other way for them to finance themselves or their families. And while Hezbollah are known to be one of the main players in the country that facilitates the production and smuggling of the pills in and out of Lebanon and Syria, it's actually much larger than that. It's not confined to Hezbollah alone, as every sect is involved in this one way or another. There are also independent smugglers and producers who are involved in this trade, but they obviously do not operate on a massive scale as the ones who have any political cover. Since the start of the Syrian civil war and the imposition of sanctions on the regime of President Bashar al-Assad, most counterfeit Captagon is now produced in Syria, in factories linked to the regime. In December 2022, the US Congress passed the Captagon Act, calling on the federal government to develop a strategy to 
disrupt and dismantle narcotics production and trafficking and affiliated networks linked to the Bashar al-Assad regime in Syria. The New Lions Institute in Washington estimates that the captagon trade earned Syria $5.7 billion in 2021 alone. But in May 2023, Syria was reinstated as a full member of the Arab League, ending a suspension that had lasted 11 years. The decision by Arab foreign ministers to bring the Assad regime back into the fold quickly began to bear fruit. Damascus vowed to tackle captagon trafficking across its borders with Iraq and Jordan. A week later, Syrian captagon kingpin Meri al was killed in an airstrike on his home in southern Syria. But the war against the drug is also being fought in the hospitals, and rehabilitation centers across the kingdom, such as the Kaffa Center in Riyadh. 